previously on Skyrim. Regardless, Amran, I have your sword. You found it! I've been looking for that blade for months! You took on all those bandits yourself? Thank you. But regardless, I've managed to get a mammoth tusk. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. I've killed the haunted steam camp leader is dead. I'm here for my bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Alive, that was a very, very long loading screen again. That was just like at the start of the halted uh, stream camp. Favorite the bow, eh? I'm a sword man myself. I do like the bow. I'm a very, very strong fan of the bow. But I'm guessing Future Dave probably uh, made that loading screen a lot shorter. But man, it's uh... chops and steaks fit for a yarl. Come and see my selection of the finest mm. quality boots. Oh, this is where everyone starts talking over each other again. <laughs> disrespect the law, you disrespect me. Yeah, but that's the second time in the space of uh, an hour or so there's been a really, really long loading screen again, which kind of worries me a little bit. So I think I might go around Whiterun, sell off some of this stuff, see what else there is to do, and then I might have to make, I might have to call it quits after that. Let me know if you see anything you like. Stuff like that is a bad, a bad omen. What do you need, my friend? I might have a few things for sale. Take a look. Most of the time when I go to these shopkeepers, it's not because I have anything I want to buy off them, it's normally just because um, I want a bit of coin off them. Right, you've got two of these you can have for 22. Man, I really, I really get, uh, <laughs> I get stung with them, I really do. Uh, illusion spells are 25% stronger, that's going to come in handy in a little bit. Ba -ba -bum. Magic art, strength. I don't see myself needing this anytime soon. Do you know what, I'm going to sell them for now. Because I'm not going to need that. I'm going to find plenty more of them on my travels, and I'm not going to need them anytime soon. Sell them, and look in. Boom. Good, good, good. What do you have for sale? Blacksmith's potion, cure disease, destruction, haggling. I might buy some health. As you know, I find health a lot as I go around. I'll see what happens. I might come back and buy some health off. I don't really fa fancy doing it uh, right now. What about books? Damage health potion recipe, restore magicka potion recipe. Ah, nah, I'm good for now. Thank you very much. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Will do, will do. John, before I forget, let's have a look at. Uh, uh, where was that? Well, that was weird. <laughs> the game kind of froze a little bit and I was beginning to worry. I think uh, this is definitely a bad sign with all this sort of stuff happening. Let's see where the silent moon... Ooh, that's actually very close by. It looks like next time I'm, I'm outside uh, the walls of Whiterun, I might be getting myself a little bit more gold. Whether it just be a hundred gold again like it was last time, it still beats... Um, it still beats nothing. I mean, I get a little bit of... I get a hundred gold off uh, uh, Preventus Avenici, which isn't really much, but then I get a hell of a lot of gold when I'm actually killing the people. Plus, find some nice weaponry and armor along the way. So, I suppose it's worth it, but I'm not exactly have it. I'm not exactly going to have it high on my to-do list. Belthor's General Goods. I've heard about this place. This would probably be a good place to sell a lot of my stuff. Because everywhere else is a very specific. It's like magic, alchemy, weaponry... Uh, just general foods and drinks, stuff like that. But a general good store. This is where I can sell, uh, hopefully sell off the bulk of my stuff. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. 
I hope you have a lot of coin, because I'm going to be selling a lot of stuff to you. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. <laughs> is that just you in a jolly mood, or do you not like your sister, or could it be that business is bad that you need to sell your sister? Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Hmm, elevated prices. Yeah, I think I've been getting elevated prices wherever I've gone. <laughs> and very decreased sale prices. But What brings a Brayton to Skyrim? Isn't it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. All right, Bellathor. I, I, I thought you were going to be quite a cheery fellow, quite a happy guy. Turns out you're, um, you don't like the questions, just like Farangar. Fair enough, a businessman. I can understand that. Let's uh, get to business, because I've got plenty of stuff to sell you. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. All right, before I look at your wares, let's see what I can drop off on you. Uh, b -b -bum. Yeah, so let's see, look at the decrease out the price on that. That's, that's ridiculous, but I do... Uh, I do need the coin, and I don't really plan on using it, so, like the enchantment, so, let's sell that. Let's sell that. Let's also sell that. And I'll keep the uh, Staff of Flames. I, uh, when I eventually get a house, I think I'm going to store that. Store that in there, so let's keep a hold of that for now. Doing this, I know I picked this up twice now, because I said I'm going to wear it, but I don't want to, so. Let's sell that. For a bracelet I need, I want to keep that. I can also sell off. Hide shield, I don't see myself using that. That can go too. Good, good, good. My speech has increased. Does that mean the uh, the price has now increased? 146. Man, I think that's the best price I've been offered uh, <laughs> in the game thus far. Definitely sell that. Leather helmet I need. That I need. That I need. That I need. And that I need unless I want to go naked. So, fair enough, fair enough. I think I sold off all the potions I was willing to part with. Yep. Yeah. Uh, targets have an improved combat skill, health, and stamina. Nope, you can have that as well. Oh man, 164. I'm surprised Farangar didn't want to scroll. You would have thought that would be right up his alley, really, wouldn't you? Bounty Book of the Dragonborn. Nope. You can have that, and you can have that. Oh man, you're running out of gold. Which is a good thing, because if you're running out of gold, it means it's all in my pocket. <laughs> Alright, since I have all your money now. Man, if I hadn't trained with Amren, I'd probably be quite near to uh, my goal. See, look at the markup. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> I need to get my speech improved. Orcish arrows. See, now that's something I'm definitely going to be interested in purchasing later on. But as for now, I, I won't bother because uh, I've got arrows for now. They seem to be doing. They seem to be doing a good job, and I want to hold on to my gold. I mean, you come on to so, you, you find so many arrows along the way. I don't see the point in purchasing any, any just yet. Hide armor, 26. That's just less than mine. Mine's 30 at the moment. No, it doesn't seem like there's anything. Oh, actually, I just remember Lydia's got that armor she's not wearing. I can sell that off, too. Although he does not know he has any money right now. <laughs> Maybe I can sell it at the uh, the, the, the blacksmiths. Increase poison, resist increase. Increase your stamina by 30 points. Well, I don't know. Maybe when I'm a Scrooge but duck with my money, then I might be able to afford that, but... Increase Magicka, Studied Armour, no. I don't think there's any, anything new um, from you I'm really going to want. Books. No, 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 I don't think there's there's nothing really I'm going to need from you. I've got enough uh, I've got enough lockpicks and stuff like that, so. Fair enough, thanks for your, uh, your business. Do come back. I'm right behind you. I need to take that armour that you've decided not to wear. Alright, what is it? 
Uh, you've entered the command state uh, to issue uh, a... Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so basically, the button that accidentally what I've just pressed is you can tell your follower to go do something. So like, you can tell them to pull a switch if you're not certain it's going to save your life. So You've entered at the command state. To issue a command to your follower, move the reticle until uh, a command appears, then press X to give that order, or to exit the command state, press circle. What do you need? So, you know, I can tell her to steal that, or I can tell her to uh, attack Bella for. I assure you, I'm prepared to make any deal. <laughs> well, if I'd send Lydia on you, I think you definitely will. Lead on. But no, I, I've got I, your back. I don't want you to do anything just yet. I want to trade something with you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. It seems like she is actually wearing um, yeah, she is wearing wearing the still imperial gauntlets. So I'll let her keep them, but uh, I will take. Is that the steel armor? That's the steel armor she's wearing now. Where's the armor I gave her? I could have swore I gave her armor in the last episode. But that's what she's wearing. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Color me corrected, I guess. I could have swore that was the armor that I, I stole off that other guy. That guy I killed. Alright, fair enough. Lead on. That was me getting ready to. Uh <laughs> Sorry, Bella, four wrong door. I'm getting all turned around in here. Yeah, there was me getting all ready to sell that onto the uh, blacksmith, but it looks like she's wearing it after all. Although, he's, I don't know, maybe just, I, think just, I think the armor just must look the same or something. That looks very similar to the one she's wearing now, but I don't think it actually is. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. Alright, calm down. <laughs> I've already had enough people trying to kill me. I think I've learnt my lesson. For now. <laughs> Radio, radio. Easy kill, you don't run into my axe now. Ah, there you are, that's what I was looking for. In fact, actually, let's go into the store itself. Because she said last time when I spoke to her that there was a, there was more weapons and things to sell inside. So let's go inside. Plus, we met him at the Bannered Mare and he told, um, he told me to come see him here, so let's do just that. Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We got plenty of steel for fighting men. Good, 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 because I've got a little bit of steel for you as well. I think, unless I've sold it all off by now. We've got small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers, that sort of thing. Well, I would ask who's in charge of Whiterun, but we already know the, uh, the answer to that, so... Anyway, what do you have for sale? Looking to protect yourself, or deal some damage? A little from column A, a little from column B. Uh, I think I've uh, I think I've sold off everything I can sell for now, or at least everything I'm willing to part with. Yeah, Ooh, 46 locks picks. That's good. Hunting bow, iron arrow, battle axe. No, I don't think there's anything we're gonna really. An orcish bow, bow of soul stairs. That's perfect. And I can afford it, but man, that's good. That's that's the sort of weapon I'd like to enchant. I mean, elven or glass would probably be my favourite, but. Tempted? I'm tempted, but if I'm ever gonna get that house, I can't keep uh, I can't keep buying things. <laughs> I'll get I'll get one of those bows eventually. I will. Increase shock resistance, destruction spells. I wouldn't. I would prefer a, a better piece of armor. See, like, why do they keep doing the bow? Uh, the bow enchantments on heavy armor. Put it on the light armor. Heavy, heavy, light. Ah, okay, fair enough. I don't think there's anything I need from you. All right, fair enough. Good doing business with you. Yeah, it was. It's a shame I don't have anything to sell. Ah, oh, Venici, I uh, I gave the sword to your father for you. You some got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Oh, no, fair enough. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. There was something inside the shop that I definitely could have used, but I, I don't fancy spending the coin just yet. I thought she would have had to say something. Maybe just like a thank you for delivering the sword to her father, but... Alright, let's check this place out. Drunken Huntsman. We haven't been in here yet, so... Let's see what they have to offer in the Drunken Huntsman. Oh, 
Good morning. Ah, hello, my Khajiit friend. In the market for some hunting supplies. That I might be in a bow. Seems like you might be the uh, sort of person I like. So let's get a little bit of backstory first. So why, uh, why name the drunken huntsman? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my, well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. <laughs> I used to be a hunter like you, and then I took an arrow to the butt. <laughs> Funny that that one never cut, took on, eh? But, uh, out of curiosity, who shall I uh, talk to for work? Not you or your brother, clearly, because I, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm happy with my uh, derriere being arrow-free arrow for now. Try Holder, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. Uh, I've done both of those things and collected work from both of them. Alright, fair enough. I was, I was wondering if there was any more I could do, but... Fair enough. What do you have for sale? Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Oh, I should have come here sooner. See, I always check. I know I've already checked through this stuff. You always check, because you never know when somebody else might take something off your hand that others won't. But... Alright, what do you have? Hunting bow of diminishing, does magicka damage, does frost damage, hunting bow of souls, oh man I should have come here sooner, this seems like my place, orcish arrows, does an orcish bow in its own, oh man I'm tempted, but no I'm trying to, I'm trying to save my coin, but I am definitely tempted, some of the stuff he has is quite quite good, that's light armour, leather light armour, 35. That looks cool. I like the look of that. I know I just said that I don't want to spend my coin, but I'm taking that. That's too cool not to take. Ho oh, Leather braces. They do 10. What do my braces do at the moment? Uh, fur braces, 8. I think I might be buying these as well. <laughs> yep. Take one of them. Man, I'm going to be levered up. I've got leather boots, leather helmet. I'm glad I came in. I should have came in here sooner. In that case, I might as well sell uh, my fur braces. And this might get a little bit awkward, but my studded armor that I'm currently wearing. Yeah, just making sure it definitely did. Uh... And it weighs more. Oh, no, it weighs the same. I was about to say it weighs more, but this is going to get awkward. Uh, you are literally buying the clothes off my back. <laughs> Look at his face! Oh my! <laughs> uh, would you have a missed lock? Just one lock pick? Nah, I won't. No, thank you very much for your business. Thank you very much for your business. That's creepy. Why does that keep happening, Lydia? Why do I keep saying stuff, and why do people keep repeating exactly what I've said? And more importantly, why am I still standing here? Oh yeah, I won't wear the studded armor. That's fine. <laughs> I was about to say, why am I still standing here naked? But uh, I forgot, I wasn't wearing my studied armour. Fair enough. That, that explains why nobody's looking at me with a really weird expression. But anyway, let's have a look. Let's see what this armour this armor looks like. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That looks good. That definitely, definitely looks good. And it protects Gaston more as well, so... Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, my, my old armour was kind of cool. It did make me look like... Kind of a badass, but I think at the same time it also made me look like a, uh, a bandit. So maybe I'll get attacked a little bit less now. Oh, I've already spoken to you a few times. I don't need to speak to you again. <laughs> Battleborn, a name you've heard many times. <laughs> you okay, Ree? You look quite upset. Blade and shadow, silence and death. These are my art. For a modest fee. I'll make great art for you. Okay, first off, are you talking about painting? Second off, shut your legs. That's very unladylike. <laughs> well, I suppose you can defend yourself. You can do what you like, really. Thirdly, we have matching armor. So I kind of like you, but... So, are you a mercenary? I hope that's the uh, services you were just offering me. 
I am an artisan, painting in strokes of blood red upon the canvas of life. But yes, I will take coin to fight at your side. After all, where is the value in creating art if there is nobody left alive to see it? So she brings up a good point. I don't know. I'm tempted. I'm actually tempted. But I've got Lydia with me for the time being. But, uh, yeah. Keep, uh, <laughs> stay here. Keep this seat warm. Keep drink. Then you keep food in you, keep your strength up, because I might be back, Janessa. I might be back. But another time, perhaps. If you change your mind, seek me out here. Maybe by that time you might have learned some manners. <laughs> so a lady like Janessa. Walk always in shadows, so that you will see your foes before they see you. That is great advice. That's great advice. I like her. I do definitely like her. <laughs> Though she needs to shut her legs. Oh, Lord. Vert your eyes, Lydia. <laughs> I like her, but I'll keep you for now, Lydia. But I think, uh, oh my, uh she's definitely, she seems like this, she seems like me and her will match really well. She seems quite a sneaky character. Other than the fact she's wearing my armor as well. But I don't know. I get the feeling she might be interesting. But there's a few more things to do while we're around White Run, so I'll keep Lydia by my side for now.